<laughs> I'm gonna do it like this too. <laughs> you don't walk me. <laughs> Imagine if I was guarding a palace like this. Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? What is this even for? <laughs> Imagine you walked around in this. It's like, hey, hey, don't bother me. I can protect myself. My racing. <gasps> it's a race for <laughs> 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 Ow. Okay. All right, good job. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm happy because the 45, 45, 90 triangle. 45, 45 triangle is one of the most important lessons in all of geometry. It's on the SAT a lot. So much so that they give you an example of a 45, 45, 90 at the beginning of every math section, which is pretty interesting that the SAT does that. They're basically saying you have to know this coming in because if you look at the picture, for example, this is the picture with my crazy gloves. Yay, math. <laughs> Good job. <Yeah. laughs> Nothing beats the solo. Wait, wait. <laughs> we'll try that again. This is the picture they give you. Okay. So I know some of you have done a lesson like this before, but if you don't know what that means, it's kind of nonsense. That's what they give you on the beginning of the SAT. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to uncover it, okay? So uh, let's just do it. Ready? Ready, class? Yay, math! Okay. Um, so I guess we'll start. Okay. So let's say you have a triangle, and uh, we'll draw one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> On cue! <laughs> I didn't want to do it that time though, because I thought I'd be a loner again. <laughs> no, you actually didn't do it that time. That's too bad. And now my triangle is whack. Okay, first of all, who knows why, why it's called the 45-45-90 triangle, please? Because two sides are 45, 45. Almost, say better, not two sides. The two X's, or the, where the 90 degrees is, the short leg and the long leg. Are. You're getting it, I know you know, let's hear it. Uh, two angles are 45. Two degrees. angles, all right? That's good. You you're, you're, have the right idea. 45, 45. Okay, so first let's classify this triangle. What type of triangle is this? Yes? Right triangle, right triangle correct. What? What other type of triangle is it? Yes? Isosceles. It is isosceles. Very good. So an isosceles triangle has two or more equal what? Sides. 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 And, and two or more congruent angles as well. Cool. So this has two congruent angles. And so what do you know about which sides are going to be congruent? Which sides will be congruent here, please? Yes? The ones opposite the angles. The ones opposite the angles. And, in effect, you also know that the hypotenuse is going to be longer than the legs. These are called legs, and the hypotenuse is going to be longer. All right, so that's a really easy component of a 45-45-90 triangle, is that the legs are always the same. The legs are always the same, okay, no matter what. So now let's go through it. Let's say this was 3 and 3. And let's say we didn't know anything about a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We could still solve for this hypotenuse using what? Yes? Pythagorean. Pythagorean theorem is right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. I know you know this, so let's go through it. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. What's A? Nine. Right, A squared is nine. I'm down for that. Nine plus nine, three squared plus three squared equals C squared. C squared equals 18. Square root of both sides. Is 18 a perfect square? No. No? So, so you split it into two numbers, and which one is a perfect square? 9. In this case, 9 and 2. And c equals 3 to the square root. So the square root of 9 is 3. Very good. 3 square root of 2. Okay, so we can put that in. 3 square root of 2. Okay. Now, can anyone see a link 
between the legs and the hypotenuse. Yes? All right. So pretty much the height with 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse, you yeah. always add a rad to, I, so it could be like, um, the right. legs could be like five, uh -huh. the hypotenuse would be five rad two. Five rad two, okay, that's the well, first because, major rule, yes? Well, it's because all of them are x, so x is the same. Yeah, that's what this picture is referring to, exactly. This picture is saying, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, whatever the leg is, the, this leg is the same, like 5 and 5, like you said, and this would be 5 rad 2. Okay, so let's try some examples. In other words, we don't necessarily need to do Pythagorean theorem every time. Once you know, it's a 45, 45, 90. All right, so I'm going to erase this. <laughs> I don't want to... No, I don't want to disrespect. It'll make it look like... <laughs> All right, so 45, 45, 90 given. And let's say this was 10. Okay. Fill her up. Yes? Uh, that one's 10, too. Right? Yep. Yeah, and then the hypotenuse is 10 times the square root of 2. 10 times the square root of 2. Okay, let's make it more challenging. Here we go, 45, 45, 90 again. Now, we're going to say this is... The square root of 6. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so what's the best place to start on a 45, 45, 90? Like that's easy, you know? Yeah, please? The other leg because it's the same. The other leg is going to be the same, right. Keep that in mind always. Other leg is going to be the same, root 6. And you, sir, in the back said you add a square root of 2, right? Mm -hmm. What is it really? Are we adding a square root of 2? We're multiplying. We're multiplying. Very good. We're multiplying the leg times the square root of 2. So what is the square root of 6 times the square root of 2? Yes? Square root of 12. Square root of 12. Is that enough, though? No. No? No? Can we simplify this? Yes? Nine, four, and then be... Right. Okay. So you're splitting the 12 into 4 times 3. So this is 2 root 3. Very good. Let's say you weren't sure about whether or not this was the right hypotenuse. What could you always do? What could you do to check? Wait. Yeah? 2 times 3. Oh, this 2 times 3 is 6? No, that's a coincidence. That's a coincidence. How can you check whether these legs and the hypotenuse are correct in the same correct relationship? You actually said it before. How do you check this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can check with Pythag, right? Let's do that really quick. A squared would be what? What's square root six. of six squared? Six. six. What's the rule when you square a square root? Chances. Chances. Very good. Plus six. six again equals two root three squared. C squared. Let's do this. That's equal two to squared. Four. 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 Square root of three squared. Three. three. So these two are the same. So we're good. Okay? So that's how to check. Okay, let's make it more challenging. If I could, I would roll up my sleeves, but I can't. Uh, yes, there's no room in this thing. 45, 45. Okay, now here we go. Six. Okay. What do we do now?